Hey everybody, Jamie from the Marine Doctors YouTube channel and today if you've got a 40, 50 or 60 horsepower Mercury 4 stroke EFI, this video is for you. Okay, let's set it up. The symptoms. The engine idles a little bit faster than it should. It might be 50, 60, 70, 100 RPM higher than normal. Your trolling speed is increased out of the blue and when you come down off high speed quickly, the engine stumbles and dies when it hits idle. What's happening is this part, which is the throttle body, has failed. Now, in an effort to cut down costs and make engines lighter, they started making things out of plastic. Plastic, of course, lasts for a long time. Look at our landfills, or landfills, sorry. They're, they're full of plastic bottles that seem to go on forever. So it's, it's a very durable product, but the, the heated cycles that the engine runs through eventually causes this to slightly warp. Once it warps, this plate no longer shuts completely. Now, as the engine's running, the IAC or the idle air control valve is supposed to be running around 30%. But if this is slightly open, the IAC doesn't even function. The IAC is put there to control your idle speed and to stop the engine from stalling or catch it as you come down off high speed. If the IAC doesn't catch this or doesn't open, the engine will stall because there's a void of air getting to the engine. It would be like someone quickly doing this and capping it off. So the IAC is a valve that opens and allows air to get into the intake so that the engine can run. So what's the fix? Well, there's, there's two fixes that we can try. One I know is gonna work and it's to replace this. The other one, there's an adjusting screw on here that allows the plate to close a little bit further. If that doesn't work and allow you to get into that 20, 30% of, of IAC percentage, you must replace this. It's only gonna get worse. And by worse, I mean to the point where the engine probably won't even throttle up properly anymore. So the IAC actually goes ch -ch 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 as it draws air into the intake to allow it to run. If it stops, at idle, it's this. It's not the IAC, it's this bad boy. Swap it out and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, I'm outside now and we just had another boat come in that's doing the exact same thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how it operates when that throttle body isn't functioning. I'm just getting to the water here to turn it on. On the way over to the boat. So this is a, I think it's a 2005 50 four stroke EFI. So Tej is going to start it up. Okay, the first thing we can hear is this. Actually, we'll restart it. Okay, that's the IAC. We're going to hear it fire up. Go ahead. And then we hear it stop. Okay, so that should still be cycling even though it's at idle. Now, I can clearly hear that the idle is too high and that's because that throttle body is warped and it's still open. All right. Tej is now gonna rev it up and down. You see it stumble? Punch it a little quicker. And it shuts off again. Okay, because we're not in the water, it'll sometimes rev up. But if this was in the water with back pressure on the exhaust and a load on the prop, this engine would stumble and fall on its face every time. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna swap out that throttle body on this one. And this guy will be back on the water too. Same day, the engine I was putting the original throttle body on is now idling away and have a listen. The IAC is now chirping away like it's supposed to. The engine should run properly. Let's go ahead and give it a couple revs and see what it does. hesitation it drops right back down to idle and chirps away just like it's supposed to so again it's the throttle body 
don't mess around with anything else replace the throttle body and also when the new throttle body comes out and or sir you purchase the new throttle body make an adjustment to allow it to close even more than the factory setting is the isc will take care of that for you all right back inside all right i'll see you guys in the next video and in the meantime you can catch me on these two i'll see you guys there thank you